Hello and welcome to this python tutorial series we are studying python data structure list and in today's video we will see how to create matrix using nested list so we are creating a matrix suppose name of matrix is mat and inside the main list your sublist will indicate the number of rows inside the matrix if you want to create three rows then you create three sublists. If you want to create four rows, you will create four sublists. In this case, I want to create four rows. Therefore, I have created four sublists. The number of elements in the sublist will decide the column in the sublist. The number of elements inside each sublist should be same so that the matrix which is created will be a valid matrix. For example, number of element in the first row is 1, 2, second row is 3, comma 4, third row is 5, comma 6, fourth row is 7, comma 8. We have created a matrix containing 4 rows and 2 columns. Now, if I want to assess the individual row of this matrix inside the square bracket, I will give the index of the row. The zeroth row will give you, zero index will give you the first row, one index will give you the second row, two index will you give you the third row, and three index will give you the fourth row because indexing starts from zero now if you want to assess the individual element inside the row then you can follow this syntax you what you can do you can store in row in element suppose e is equal to mat of zero this will assess the first row and store it in e means you e contains one two we print the value of e you see 1 2 and if i want to assess the first element e of 0 will give you the first element e of 1 will give you the second element or you can follow a syntax directly using mat from the first row i want the first element Therefore, first square bracket indicates I, second square bracket indicates the column, 0, 0 will give you 1. From the first row, I want the second element, therefore I will write 0, 1, mat of 0, 1 will give, from the first row, it will give the second element. Now, if I want from the last row, I want the second element, index of last row is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, in the first I will give 3 and I want the second element index of second element is 0 and 1 therefore I will write 1 here 3 1 it will give me the output 8 click on the cell run the cell and you can see the output as 8 this indexing or referencing of the index can be done using for loop means element of the matrices can be accessed using nested for loop syntax is for i comma row in enumerate and the matrix name in this case matrix is mat which is created using list for j comma individual element in enumerate enumerate the index uh, the row is written in the row variable from the row variable we will select the element using j okay so matt has written uh, index of the element and in row the individual row j will uh, return the index of the element inside the row and ele will actually return the element inside the row in if you are inside 
both this for loop means you are doing processing on element of the matrix row wise so here you will have l here we are just printing the element print e l e and you can see you get the output as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 to segregate the output we insert one print statement then you can see that it is accessing row wise first two element are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 if you want to see, see the printing uh, matrix wise then in the end of the print you queue a space so it will be represented the printing will be represented matrix wise you have 0 1 2 3 means 4 rows 0 1 2 columns this is all about this video wherein we have seen how to create a matrix using list how to assess the individual element of the matrix using indexing and how to process the element of the matrix using nested for loop thank you thanks for watching do hit the subscribe button if you like the content and see you in the next video